and good evening everybody going on another spin venture today we are in downtown ebor city just outside of tampa welcome to the nightlife of ebor city it's been crazy down here uh nevertheless tonight's adventure is going to be a bit interesting let's just say that uh we are going to have a frightful night here in Ebor City uh, as we enter a, um, let's just say, not, not a uh, limo per se, a hearse. That's the name I was thinking of. We are going inside of a hearse to explore the dead. On a ghost tour, going on a ghost tour at live in Ebor City. We're gonna check out the history of Ebor City a little bit more in depth and going inside different places, checking out the checking out just some historical facts and items throughout Ebor City tonight and within two hours. And we'll be riding in a hearse, which is basically what they what a hearse is for those that you don't that don't know. A hearse is, you know, carrying cas carrying caskets to bury them in a cemetery somewhere. So we're riding in one of those and they're gonna take us around Ebor City. Uh, our our guide or our yeah, our guide to the dead is name is Steve and he'll be taking us on a tour around Ebor City. Cannot wait to document this, all the different locations that we go to. It starts in about 15 minutes, and so I'm already at the location and everything. So we're gonna uh, do that and go through the uh, and have fun with that. So now that. Uh, so this building right here, uh, Mr. Steve was talking about this, the attic, the box office, we're going up in the attic building he said we're going up we're gonna try to go up to the second floor come on in we're heading up station now heading up to the cigar factory one of many cigar factory that mr. Ebor owns and progressed in time as the 
cigars came into port in the port of Tampa, he would wave and signal the delivery drivers pretty much to go get the cigars from port and get and bring us bring us Roosters. There's roosters. They belong here. Over 100 years. <laughs> yeah, we ready. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So. Right. As we press on to the. The Star Factory. send out his delivery people, servicemen, to the port of Tampa to get as much of the cigars that belong to Ybor City as much as possible and as quickly as possible. <coughs> Church of Scientology. You doing okay? Going to the Cuban Club. Just across the way, you can see it. Sarah Holly's Cafe. One of my favorite places to eat. There. by 10 by 10 <coughs> pool where every day five to six hundred sweaty Cuban men on a hot summer day <laughs> will jump in to wash the sweat off. It's a septic tank every two to three days. Ew. Jaime breaks free of his mother arguing about something nobody knows. Enters the gymnasium which is now a cantina search of his father, he never finds his father. Two days later when they're cleaning the pool, they find his body in that murky cesspool of water. And his spirit has never left. His nature's old for 91 years. 
years. We're going to go through our ceremony. I will point out where things were in those days. You're going to follow me over to a bar area. I'm going to give out the meters. And that's your floor to explore. Side with the basement of the Cuban cigar place. In a moment, I'll get to go and explore. Are we ready? Yes. Uno, Uno dos, no, tres. tres. Hola, Hola Jaime. Now, somebody said, wouldn't it be freaky if it rolled back? He's done that on my tours. Twice. Now, not every tour guide does this, but I believe that when that boy should have some respect and some acknowledgement to let him know he doesn't have to be afraid, I do it on my tours. And so, those double doors was the pharmacy. This glass door, the doctor's office, under these stairs was the barber shop. This main floor, basketball. That bar over there where that last photo was taken was a two-lane bowling alley. Over here you can still see the remains of the indoor running track. And that swimming pool was on top of where those stairs are by that exit sign. Remember it was only 10 by 10, but 10 feet deep. And the meters were not right there. Now there's water fountains right there. Let them run because the air condition is not on, so they're not going to be cold, cold, but they are wet. But if anybody needs oh. some water, so let's follow me over. You did a good job, Heather. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs>